Hey guys, Matt Henderson here. Today's video is going to be a review of the Battle Buzz Lightyear by Hasbro. This buzz came out in 2002. It was one of the first Hasbro buzzes. And this is actually my first Hasbro buzz. I actually got this figure last year. And I was kind of getting out of buzz at the time. So I just never got around to, rev to reviewing it. However, I decided to finally review it, and I will also be reviewing the other figure I bought that I did not review, and I don't want to spoil what it is yet, but you guys will be very excited for that. So without further ado, let's get started. So being the first Hasbro Buzz I have, that's very interesting. So Hasbro's Buzzes back then, were... compared to the Thinkway and Mattel Buzzes, this figure actually makes an attempt to be kind of an upgrade, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Uh, this this style of Buzz Lightyear, not this specific figure, but this style that Hasbro has for their figures, kind of went on to inspire the future Toy Story figures. And I'll kind of show off what I'm ta talking about. So, I'll start off with the posability. I usually show the phrases first, but I'll save those for later. So, his, his arms, this one can go all the way around. They can the elbow, or the shoulder can move up and down pretty far. The elbow moves up and down, wrist rotates, and then the fingers move. The other arm is a bit more limited because of this uh, little arm can he has, but his wrist can still rotate, his elbow does swing out, and his shoulder does swing up and down as well. I can only rotate this far back, and then it can only go down this far. So it's a bit more limited, but still very poseable. As for his leg poseability, um, this I think was one of the first buzzes to have ratchet joints, which as you can see are very noisy, but they work better than kind of the older joints that the previous buzzes had. So his feet can move out and in a little bit. His knees can move out a lot and go in quite a bit. To the point where they're kind of inwards, as you can see. They should probably be more like that, but they kind of go in really far. And then his waist does rotate all the way around. And then his head does have posability. Um, it can rotate about this far. This part of his head uh, suit kind of stops it from moving too far and it kind of gets stuck on this part as well and also something that's kind of interesting the hazard buzzes have very very squishable heads which is a very random thing but yeah it's extremely squishable check this out it's pretty crazy and also the helmet is kind of interesting so it snaps open and then it snaps shut, but there's a little bit of wiggle room here. So if you tilt them, it kind of opens a little bit. That's not really too unusual, but I thought it was interesting. Now we're going to talk about the play features. So one of the main draws of this Buzz Lightyear are his wings. This was, along with the Deluxe Buzz, one of the first Buzz Lightyears. Technically, it was the first, along with the Deluxe Buzz, to have movie-accurate wings. Not just size, but also the mechanism is very movie-accurate. And I'll go ahead and show you what the wings look like. So as you can see, they swing out properly, and they go up. Unfortunately, this wing tends to sag a bit. It kind of stays up if you push it up. But the wings are not, they don't have much springiness to them, as you can see. But they do work very nicely, and they are very movie accurate. I'll go ahead and show them again. Uh, while we're on the back, I'll also show this. So, this was also an innovation that Hasbro had at the time. The wing cover is removable. And it's just pegged on. Now, of course, Thinkway would later adopt this system. But Hasbro was the first to do it. However, unfortunately, this would result in the fact that if you're trying to buy this figure used, 
oftentimes this piece will be missing and it's really hard to find a buzz listing with it. And this pretty much goes for every Hasbro buzz that they made. All of them had this removable piece. Even if they didn't have wings, it was still removable to get to the battery cover. So that's kind of a sore spot on this figure. And what's also interesting is that the wings are also removable. They just kind of snap off. So here's what they are. I'm. It's kind of similar. I guess Thinkway kind of adopted this as well later on. I think that's just kind of a, in case the figures drop, the wings won't break, they'll just kind of break off like this. It's kind of a nice thing that they did. And also what's interesting and very influential, the way that the wings open is also the same as Thinkway would do later on. So Thinkway was very much inspired by the Hasbro figures. So on the back of the wing cover, you'll see it's not symmetrical. There's this little part here. Well, when the wings swing out, it hits this little trigger and the wing opens on this side. <clears throat> now you might be wondering, how does it open on this side? Well, on the actual back of the figure, there's a trigger which is on the bottom of this part. It hits it and it opens. So if you're missing the wing cover, whoops. If you're missing the wing cover, this wing will still deploy. Now if you're missing the wing cover, you can still open the wing, but it's not gonna deploy properly. So if you think that's a problem with your figure, that's not really a problem. It's just a design choice that they made, which like I said, Thinkway would later go on to copy it, which is interesting. I kind of wish they hadn't because it's kind of annoying on those figures if you're missing this part. So there's the wings, kind of a long tangent on the wings, but I thought it was interesting. So now we'll talk about this figure's electronic features. I'm gonna go and bring it a little closer um, his speaker is very quiet, so I'll go ahead and show you his phrases. His phrases are randomized, um, of course, as normally you push them with the buttons here. Nothing crazy there. So let's see what he has to say. Looks like you're the Star Command. Mission accomplished, Woody. To infinity and beyond. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Look at my impressive wingspan. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! Woody, I'm trapped. I need your help. Woody, we need air support. Mission accomplished, Woody. Buzz Lightyear to Scar Command. To infinity and beyond! Look at my impressive wingspan. To infinity and beyond! Woody, I'm trapped. I need your help. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Buzz Lightyear to Scar Command. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! So I think that's all of them. As you can see, he kind of repeats them quite a bit. Uh, some phrases than others he doesn't repeat very often. So it's kind of interesting. I don't really like randomized phrases, but I kind of see why they did it. Because it was kind of a novel concept at the time. Later it would go on to be done on a lot of figures. So it's kind of an overused thing nowadays. But it is neat for this figure. So those were his phrases. And now let's move on to another feature that this figure has, and it is the arm cannon. I don't know if it has an official name. So unfortunately, because of the nature of Hasbro buzzes and the fact that they all come with accessories, this figure is technically missing a few items. So in each of these holes, there's supposed to be like a little dart. And whenever you spin this, it's supposed to make a sound and fire. I don't have the darts. They're pretty hard to find because they're obviously going to get lost. I bought this figure mainly because it had the wings and the wing cover. So I'll accept the loss there. But I'd recommend trying to get it complete if you can. This figure does not want to stand up all of a sudden. So I'll go ahead and show you the arm can. So the sound does still work, but you are missing out on a feature. So I wanted to mention that. So here's what the sound does. So you can twist it either way and it'll make a sound. And you can also just continue to twist it and it makes like an extended sound. It's very, very fun to play with. Like I said, it would be much nicer if it had the little darts that went with it. But I'll take what I can get.
So another kind of interesting thing that this figure is also capable of doing. So if you notice, there are these two little circles here. Now, if you're a Buzz Lightyear fan or collector, you might be familiar with what these are. So back in 1997, Thinkway had a, basically a set of Buzz and Woody, and they were able to talk to each other, and they used these infrared receivers like this figure has. Now, there are many different versions of the Interactive Buddies. That's what they were called. This figure is technically not part of that line. Obviously, it's by Hasbro. But this is sort of their version of it. And so you get the Battle Buzz and the Squad Leader Woody. And they can basically say interactive phrases with each other, along with some exclusive ones, alongside the normal ones. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the exclusive phrases because I don't have Squad Leader Woody. I don't think I'll ever get him. But I thought it was worth mentioning because it's pretty interesting. I thought it was a really neat feature. I don't think any other Hasbro Buzz has that feature. Nor do I think any other Hasbro Woody has that feature. So a few other things to note about this figure. Um, in general, I think this figure is amazing. It's very innovative. Um, in general, this would have been probably one of the best Buzz Lightyears back then. And it's still a very nice figure. Um... This figure, along with the Deluxe Buzz, the original Deluxe Buzz, these are probably the two best Hasbro Buzzes. Now, I did make a video of the top seven Hasbro Buzzes back a few years ago. I don't really agree with that video now. This figure is definitely one of the best. Not only are the wings awesome, but the arm can is incredible. And combining that with the interactive feature that I unfortunately can't show you, it's a, an amazing figure. So yeah, overall, I do highly recommend this figure. It's unfortunately fairly rare with the accessories. It's not super expensive without the accessories. And keep in mind, by accessories, I actually mean the wings and backpack cover. Because those are a very common missing piece for this figure, which is unfortunate. But that's just how it goes. But if you can get all the accessories, the, the jetpack cover, the wings, and the darts that it comes with, I definitely would highly recommend getting this figure. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. And yeah, bye.